Hello there everyone and welcome today to School for the Fool. I'm very excited about what we are going to discuss about today in class. I love aromatherapy. It has, it has really changed my life. It's helped me heal on so many levels in so many ways. And I didn't even think that it was going to affect my life in, in the manner in which it did. So, what is aromatherapy? It's extracts of leaves, flowers, the roots, of the seeds, the fruits, right? The parts of the plant. It's biochemical with healing proper properties. Now, depending upon how it's been processed, okay? That is really important. You have to make sure your essential oils are really high in quality or the biochemical properties won't be there. And that's like the extracts from the plant that contain life, depending upon how they are extracted. And... Um, which method is used. I do believe the old, old, oldest method is being distilled. Now, with that being said, how do you use them for healing? I always have my diffuser running. If you notice when I do my tarot cards, I always have my diffuser running in the background. I'm a PTSD sufferer. It's helped me with that. It's helped me control my cravings for sugar as I have a spinal injury and I'm a chronic pain sufferer. I suffer from depression. It's helped me with my depression. As we know, scents can release um, serotonin, right? You know, the smell of your mom's home-baked apple pie, like that smell makes you feel something. Aromatherapy does the same way. If you, and the blends, every blend is gonna be different depending upon who you are, what you need, but there are different ways we can use them as well. We've got skin application. Now, when we apply them on our skin, they're with a carrier oil, all right? And that's how they absorb in the skin. Now you need to do research. You, you always have to do research. You need to know what you're doing when you're using essential oils. So do your research, please. As well as oral absorption, you can't just go and just pick up an essential oil and go take it. You really have to do your research as well as rectal channel you know for infants and if that is how you're going to absorb with healing the healing properties the biochemical properties to help you on your healing path and journey and this really really makes a difference that this is one of the most important and effective tools out there i have found for myself and many many of the people that i have met along my journey now speaking of information my aunt was the one who introduced me to essential oils and this was the book she passed down to me. Now I'm going to share it here with you. It's important in here because it does actually show you what you're doing, the quality of your oils, how it's distilled. And gives you some really um, helpful tips and tools in here to navigate your way through this as well as we know there is the internet but make sure it's you can trust the research you're doing right if you would like to meet me at my desk with a reading dedicated to essential oils and the energies at play i will see you there i'll show you my essential oils routine Alrighty, thank you for joining me over here at my desk now here are my essential oils. And depending upon what I'm doing um, is the mix I'll make or even the season. In the summer months, I'm a lemon gas, lemon grass. I'm a lemon grass gal. And I like it with some of my sweet orange here. In the winter months, I'm more of a spearmint and cinnamon girl okay now depending upon what i'm treating is what i'm using these are all of high quality the bigger ones here are all organic and these ones are all eco-friendly and um very 
good quality. I'm just going to make my mix now in the background before we start our reading. And make sure you check out wherever you're getting yours from, okay? Remember, you want to make sure of the quality. Let me just uh, get this mixed up and we will start our reading. Okay, she's all ready to go. Now, every single oil does something unique and I'm a very big fan of rosemary. I am a very big fan of frankincense. Frankincense actually helps so much with, de with depression and pain and so many ailments. It's, it's not uh, by accident that frankincense was bought, brought by the three wise men, right? Lemon, lemon is antibacterial as well as it smells incredible. Now. Let's clear this up and start our reading. All cleared off and ready to start the reading. Now, let's see what the cards have to say. And please go pick out that book or a book or some information just to get yourself started if you're intimidated. Information is how um, you start anywhere, right? That's why the High Priestess is there in the dark with the scroll. Hmm. Number 11, the standing stone. The stone with the karmic scales. <clears throat> What's karma? Justice. The me is within. Ten of Swords. She's got, <clears throat> excuse me, the vegetable root in her hand. She's about to make a potion in this cauldron right now. The animals are present. You know, the Ten of Swords, it's as dark as it gets, right? This deck is a little bit different, right? Number 11, it's, it's, uh, it's justice, it's cleansing your karma. That's why the karmic scales are there and the Ten of Swords. This is, it's a dark space, but we're gonna heal. And I love the vis visualization. We actually have her, her pairing a root in her witch's cauldron, like. My goodness. That is not working. I knew we're gonna smell it. stay in my freaking hand so we have the lady and the lord which is the lovers the sacred union and it's just beautiful in this card so maybe <clears throat> I know I have used my aromatherapy on my path with my divine counterpart. These cards are new, they're a little slippery still. So we have the Eight of Swords again. 
there's mental entrapment, but the apples are near. Healing must ha must be ha must happen. Two of Wands. That's a balance restored, a balance restored and actually manifesting. And in this one, it's somebody coming home in this deck, right? Somebody's arriving. And with the lady and the Lord being in the middle here, I feel like there's a sorrow. You need to remember that aromatherapy can even help uh, with thoughts, with depression. It really can get you out of that space. Don't be afraid to use it there as well. All right, let's just uh, go a little deeper. These are my thought tarot deck and it's an alchemy tarot deck and that's what's happening when you're making essential oil and with ourselves healing with those biochemicals. Life restoring life. And that's why it's it's really important to eat um, life foods as well. Not just aromatherapy, we heal with life foods and life activities. Passions of the heart. Like the Lady and Lord. That's passionate right there. Change. Restoring balance. So here with the standing stone, number 11, we have change. The karmic scales, the maze within. And now we're going to transform with the dark and the light. The serpent with the crown. Okay, so this can very well be... When a healing is not... A, it's of three things, right? So we have to heal our lives too. You know, we don't just heal our bodies. Body, mind, soul. Okay? We heal our mind, we heal our body, we heal our soul. And um, that can be many ways. That's why the crown is present. Ego is toxic. Codependency, addictive self-sabotaging behaviors and not allowing your higher self through to shine through, you're going to get sick. It's going to cause sickness. And there's not enough aromatherapy in the world that can help you with that. Okay. Now, what is she making in that pot? What's happening? Cauldron. Got my little cauldron over there. Should brew something up. Put essential. Um, you can put um, actually pieces of the plant in there and burn them. All right. Two cards out. Here with the Ten of Swords. So we have the Ace of Wands and the Hermit. So we're going to go within. We're going to follow the light within. As we just talked about with higher self. Hold on one second, guys. One of my students is coming to the door. Give me a minute. Can't just have a reading without an interruption. Let's get back to it. So the hermit... <clears throat> what we just discussed, literally following the light within you, right? The path within. That's why this little maze is there. And the Ace of Wands, like that's, look at the sparks lit. That is the Ace of Wands. The spark. Following the journey within. Healing, healing will begin there. 
now. Okay. Three cards and we will take them. Okay. We have the tower. That is the removing of what's not stable, what is going to get in your way of your path. This is sickness, ego. This is not. That's what needs to be removed so we can heal and let the light in. Then we have the Eight of Wands. And in this card here, you say it, it says swiftness. It's, and I love the shapes coming together. And then we have the rainbow, the clearing of your chakras, a clearing of your path, integration of higher self, everything coming together. We have the two tetrahedrons here. And that can very well be male and female energy coming together. And then we have completion. Completion, the four of wands. The four of wands is the completion of the stability now. So we have the tower with the stability removed. And now, through the eight of wands energy, the coming together, the work, the alchemy, we have the completion, all here with the Lady and the Lord, the lovers. The dark and light, the feminine and masculine, the yin and yang, balance restored. Now, let's just clarify this Eight of Swords because it's nasty. Oh, and there we go. Two cards out. <clears throat> wow complete shock worry and the lovers what are we doing here guys what is the eight of swords worrying it's lack it's sickness what is the five of pentacles it's lack of, it's going without, being in the cold, it's sickness. And now we have the healing, the coming together, the path, the karmic scales being balanced and the lovers, the coming together, the union, the alchemy. The energy at the bottom of the deck. Oh, sorry, had it the right way. The Empress. So the birth of something new. And she's holding the flower right there. The Empress is the goddess energy. She's going to use know how to use aromatherapy at its best. This this like this she is cultivating the plants, living with the plants, growing them planting them she is connected to nature like no other this is the mother energy healing what a gift what a gift again and then the ten of pentacles right you got the empress here with the two of wands and wealth here the ten of pentacles with the page of cups and we know what the page of cups is doing again we're healing we've he healed our inner child's we're, we are creating we're playing we're in magic and wonder again Now, <clears throat> excuse me, let's use these beautiful chakra cards and see what's being activated here today. 
because this is a healing reading as we are working with aromatherapies. Aromatherapy. There it is. Abundance. Right? Abundance. And we know what our abundance is. We just looked at it. We know what we're manifesting, right? And we know abundance is everything. It's all encompassing. And this is our root chakra, our base chakra. The connection to everything, right? Like, you have pulled this card today as a reminder that abundance is available for you at all times. It is your natural state of being to resonate at this expansive vibration. The world and the universe is a playground of abundant energy, which is available to you in each moment of each day. If you've been stuck in a conscious state of not being able to attract and manifest your heart's desires, know that the door of abundance is wide open and inviting you to step inside. You are a co-creator with the universe and can manifest in abundance anything you require at any time. If the bills have been piling up and there seems to be a lack of finances to go around, know that abundance is at hand. Abundance comes in many forms, not just money. Love, joy, gratitude, and healing are here for you now. Take a moment today to tune in and feel and acknowledge the abundance in your life. Become aware of how you may be sabotaging or shutting yourself off to this powerful energy and do what is required to allow this flow to occur to occur once again. You may wish to ask your angels for help to clear any blockages, do a guided meditation, or even work with some powerful crystals like citrine or jade. You are deserving of this abundance in your life and now and always. It is your natural birthright. Abundance is showering its blessings upon you now and always. Be opened and receive its light. Affirmation. I am the abundant flow of the divine. The wealth of the universe flows to me and through me now and always. Well, guys, that's completely tied into this whole entire reading and exactly what we're here for. We're moving out of the lack of here with the five of pentacles and the eight of swords. We shift out of this because we, we need healing to occur now. And we have union. Right? We have a union within and we harmonize. And we harmonize everything without, and everything outside, around us, right? We start to attract that back. Let's get an oracle. There it is. Wow, woman. Woohoo. I know all about this lady. I think I put my face beside this card in here hello wild woman I need to be more like the wind and I'm the wild woman I'm going to work on that the essence when the wild woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity. <clears throat> Excuse me. She reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. When the wild woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. Divested of all social constraints, 
and cultural conformity. The wild woman holds up a mirror to your essential self, the true essence of who you are and who you're meant to become. She is a, she is a reminder. <clears throat> she is a reminder of the bright light within each of us that gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us by the expectations of society. The essence. When the wild woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. Divested of all social constraints and cultural conformity, the wild woman holds up a mirror to your essential self, the true essence of who you are and who you're meant to become. She is a reminder of the bright light within each of us that gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us by the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present in life, we must uncover the light and let it shine brightly. <clears throat> Excuse me, regardless of the perceived consequences. The invitation. When the wild woman comes to dance in your reading, you're invited to shine brightly and to know that your true self is being called out to engage the world. This is a symbol that your long-held dream is being and begin. This is a symbol that your long-held dream is beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic self doesn't fit in a box. It needs the freedom to shine. It's time to have the courage and step into the light. The wild woman says, shine brightly, dance with abandon, be yourself and let the great spirit decide what happens. You'll be happy you did. The medicine, expressed for its own sake, it is a sign of imbalance. This is a warning that you may be trapped in obsessive thinking or behavior, looking for release in places that will never provide it. Let go, least you become like a hungry ghost of Chinese Buddhist lore that can never be fulfilled. True release comes from trusting the fluidity of life understanding that just as a river needs its banks to flow through so too do you need boundaries around your thinking and behavior now is the time to simplify be mindful and connect to the light within stop doing this and do this that's your answer thank you wild woman Shift out now because abundance is waiting. Abundance is here. Thank you, Empress. Thank you. Thank you. And the lovers, the union, the balance, the alchemy of that, the alignment, the energies are here, they're at play. Amazing, incredible, I'm excited. And my aromatherapy oh, smells so good. And yes, it's still on, yes, yay. You guys, thank you for joining me here today. Please let me know how it turned out with your essential oil. Your essential oil, I was gonna make oils and email a same word. See, I can never speak English. I can't do it because my brain wants to make up new words. It wants to make up new words all the time. Do any else, does anyone else out there have problems speaking? Like, I'm telling you. Thank you for joining me here today at School for the Fool. This reading has been a blessing. I'm so, so, so happy that you joined me here today. Thank you. You take care and I will see you again soon.